Hello everyone, it's me Uncle Jan. Today, I am going to read Reading Explorer Level 2, Unit 10B, Life on the Edge. The town of Umanak, Greenland, is home to just over 1,000 people. During the summer, it's an island, but when the sea freezes, residents can use dock sleds and snowmobiles for hunting trips and visits to other to other, other islands. The old ways have little appeal for Malik Lobstrom, a slim 24-year-old Lobstrom has lived his whole life in Umanak. The people in the small town on Greenland's west coast survive many on seal hunting and fishing. But Lobstrom's interests lie elsewhere, in rock music and horror movies. He taught himself English by listening to music and now dreams of working as a tour guide on Greenland's cruise ships. He knows he should move to a larger town, as many of his friends have done, but doing so would leave no one to care for his 80-year-old grandmother. So he remains in Yumanak. B. Small towns all over Greenland are losing population. Near Cornet, a settlement near Yomanak is now home to just 50 people. The instability of towns like these has worsened as a result of climate change. Ice loss has shortened the hunting season, and as a result, traditional hunting and fishing can no longer pay for access to modern amenities. Long before the sea ice disappears, economic and social pressures may force people to leave these settlements. When Albert Lucasen was young, he could hunt by duck sled on Yumanak's frozen waters until June. This photo shows him there in April. See, the question of what to do about this problem is a common topic of debate at gatherings known as uh, Cafe Mick, and one community gathering, Jean-Michel Houghton, a French anthropologist, gets into a lively discussion with a man who has moved to New Greenland's largest town. The subject is the future of, uh, of places like Neocornard and whether they even have one. D. If we don't move out of isolation, we would, we would always be conservative, the man from Nook tells Huckton. I don't want to live in a museum. I don't want to live in the old way. My son and my daughter should be part of the world. The traditional lifestyle survive only because of government subsidies, he argues. This approach forces young people into a life of hunting and fishing, rather than encouraging them to look beyond tradition. Uh, e. But job opportunities in Greenland are few, Huckton counters. Anyway, what would, what would happen to all the hunters? Should they give up their independence, their boats and dock sleds, and live in a city apartment building? The loss of settlement would be a loss for all, he said. Such places preserve Inuit hunting culture, but Huckton uh, is hopeful. I think these small remote communities can invent a sustainable future for themselves, he says. The people have gone from hunting to Facebook in less than a century. I'm sure they will succeed in the future. Few, peop F, few people are choosing to stay, however. Even fewer arrive from outside. An exception is uh, Inar Gong Egg Eged who moved to near Korna to be with his girlfriend. His first job was cleaning the town's toilets, but now he manages the town's power plant. I like it here a lot, he says. I have a home, a nice salary. You can feel the freshness here, and it's open, he says. I don't want to move any place else. The end.